Hello guys, Softony here, welcome to another video tutorial and in this video lesson we're going to create this uh, cool wave background so stay with me until the end of this video and also I want to thank you for watching my videos, for following and supporting me and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so you can always get a notification whenever I post a new clip. Okay, uh, let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and our first step like always is to create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon here for creating a new composition and I will do 9020 by 1080 full HD composition and for this composition name I will rename it to Waves Map, uh, duration maybe to around 8 second, hit OK and also uh, right click here in our Waves Map to create a new solid layer okay i will rename it map also 1920 by 1080 hit okay find here in the facts and preset effects effect ra radio waves drag and drop on onto our uh, map player and now it's time to make a few adjustments here on our uh, radio waves effect uh, as you can see we have already uh, this uh, waves effect uh, for this color i will do uh, white color for this uh, expansion go to around 9 and of course uh, for the uh, end and start with go to around 100 okay now when we hit 0 as you can see we have this uh, really cool uh, circle waves okay our next effect is going to be uh, Gaussian blur drag and drop on top our uh, map layer and for the blurriness go to around maybe 90% or so and now as you can see uh, we have this uh, map uh, for our uh, future effects okay our next step is to create a uh, text composition and also another a uh, full HD composition uh, so I will close this effects control for now hit on this little icon and I will rename it to this a new comp from uh, comp 1 to waves and just hit OK and also it's time to uh, drag and drop our waves map into our waves composition like so and here in our waves we will create also a text composition hit here and for the width i will do uh, 850 for height 150 and then uh, i will rename it from comp1 to text01 and then hit enter on your keyboard also it's time to create our text hit ctrl plus t or go here on horizontal type tool and i will type random text waves align it here to the center this is really important i'm using this montserrat uh, black font uh, 200 uh, height and now drag and drop our text 01 here in our uh, waves composition like so also we will add a few effects here uh, on our uh, waves text go to effects and preset and type here motion tile like so drag and drop onto our text 01 and for the output width and height uh, type 900 like so and now when we hit zero we have something like this okay now it's time to create our adjustment layer here in our waves, com waves composition right click and then choose here adjustment layer and for this adjustment layer uh, find here in effects and preset caustics effect drag and drop onto our adjustment layer and also we will do a few adjustments here for surface color you can choose from white or black i will do uh, also white for now uh, one thing uh, we have forgotten to do is to create our background right click and then uh, go here to pick our solid and i will uh, just type uh, bg for background and type here fill effect like so move the background all the way down okay and for the color choose maybe this dark gray gray one 
hit OK, uh, go back here in our caustics and also we will do here uh, a few adjustments. For this water surface, go from none uh, here to waves map. Also, uh, turn off the visibility of our map layer. Uh, we're only using it as a map, so we don't need to see him. And now when we hit zero, we have something like this. Uh, what we can do also is to crank up this smoothing from 5,000 uh, to around uh, 50,000. And now, as you can see, we have better results. Also for refractive in the uh, index instead of 1.2 go to maybe 1.1 uh, 1 or so and now as you can see we have this really cool wavy animation here in our uh, waves composition. Also what we can do for our background layer to maybe change our color from dark gray to uh, pure black and now we have also better animation. Also what we can do is to uh, choose uh, all of our layers, hit Ctrl plus A, A on your keyboard or choose them all like so, right click and then go pre-compose. For this new composition I will rename it to final, of course you can type your own name, hit OK and just make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. And now uh, enable this uh, little icon here for 3D layer, right click and to create a new camera. Hit OK and also hit C on your keyboard or go uh, here on this little icon and just reposition according your needs like so. Also uh, what will I do is to hit here on our final comp, go to effects and present and uh, also type again motion, motion tile, drag and drop onto our final comp and uh, output uh, uh, width and height move to around 400 or so and now as you can see we have this uh, really cool and creative animation also one thing we have forgotten to do is to animate here on our text layer um, find also uh, this motion tile go to around zero frames uh, set up our uh, first keyframe for our tile center go to around eight frames uh, eight seconds and move this to the left or right according your needs i will just drag a random number and now when we hit zero we have this uh, really cool animation also we will animate the phase uh, set up our first keyframe here on our zero frames like so go to around eight seconds and maybe type here a one or two and now when we hit zero as you can see, we have this um, moving waves text and this is looking really cool. Now, when, we, uh, when we're back here in our waves camp, as you can see, uh, this is looking really cool. We have here this overlapping, so uh, hit F3 on our finals to see our motion tile effect and choose here mirror edges. And now when we hit zero, we have something like this also. You can hit C on your keyboard for a few times, find this icon like so, move it up or down a bit to readjust our scene and when we hit zero we have something like this. Also you can uh, reposition again like here and when we hit zero our animation is looking really cool. Also what uh, we will do is to uh, go right click and find here adjustment layer, also rename it spotlight the effect i'm using all the time and go to here in effects and present and type cc spotlight drag and drop onto our spotlight adjustment layer and also readjust it according your needs maybe to around here or so play around with the edge softness also intensity i like to uh, maybe around 60 and you can also play around with the height and cone angle and this is looking really cool to me. Now when we hit zero we have this really cool animation. Also what you can do right click again find uh, adjustment layer again I will rename it to noise find here in the facts and preset noise HLS drag and drop onto our composition and type here 3% from uh, hue, lightness and saturation. 
And now when we hit zero, we have this uh, really, really cool animation, really cool looking animation. All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. Hope you learned something new. Uh, I want to thank you again for watching my video, my tutorials. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Also comment down below, uh, hit that like button and turn on the bell icon so you can always get a notification whenever I post a new clip. Until next time, stay creative and bye bye.